Hello friends, welcome back to tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can convert a decimal number into a number of different base or radix. If the decimal number to which we want to convert into a number of different base has a decimal point or if it has a fractional part, right? then we will separate the integer part from the fractional part because the way of converting the integer part is different from way of converting the fractional part. So first of all we will learn how we can convert the integer part of decimal number into a number of different ways. Suppose there is an integer 231 right? and we want to convert it into a number of different base. Suppose we want to convert it into a number whose base is 8. Right? We want to convert it into a number of octal number system because the numbers of octal number system have base 8 and we want to convert it into a number of base 8. So what the procedure is, first of all divide the number by base and whatever quotient we get, divide it successively by base, right? And then in and accumulate the remainder. So here the number is 231, 231. When we divide it by 8, we get quotient 28 and remainder 7. Then again divide the quotient by 8. Then we will get, uh, when we divide it by 8, we will get the quotient 3 and remainder 4. Then again divide it by base 8. Right? Then we, what will we get? Quotient will be 0 and remainder will be 3. Now we have to accumulate these remainders. Right. So what will we do? We will write these remainders from down to up. Right. From bottom to top. So here the remainder what we got is 7, 4, 3. When we write it from bottom to top then it will be 3, 4, 7. So the required number will be 347 right 47 now we will learn how we can convert a fractional part or a fractional decimal number into a number of different base suppose there is a number 0 0.65 right and we want to convert into a number whose base is 8. So what will we do? We, here we will multiply it by base. right? And when we multiply it by base, we will get an integer and a fractional part. So what we have to do? Again, we have to separate integer from fraction and multiply the fraction again by 8 right and repeat this procedure until the fraction becomes 0 or until the number of digits has sufficient accuracy now this fractional part that is 0 0.65 must be multiplied by 8 When we multiply by 8, what we get? Five point two. So separate the integer part from fractional part. Here the integer part is 5 and fractional part is 0 0.2. Now again multiply the fractional part with base 8. So when we multiply it, what we get? 0, sorry, 1.6. 
Now here the integer part is 1 and fractional part is 0 0.6. Now again multiply the fractional part with 8. What we get? 4.8. Right. Now again separate the integer from fraction. Right. And we have to continue this process until the fractional part becomes 0 or until the number of digit have sufficient accuracy. Right. So here I can leave it because these three digits can provide me sufficient accuracy. So what do I have to do? Write these integers from top to down. Integers which I got here is 514. So write it from top to down. Then it will be 0 0.514. Right. So the octal number which is equivalent to this decimal number 0 0.65 is 0 0.514. 